Hey guys, so I know that you came to this video to watch a tutorial on the shimmery purple eye look um, that you saw from the thumbnail, but I quickly wanted to just sit down and film this very quick intro to the video. So if you are here solely for the tutorial and you don't care what I have to say, then you can click the link in the description box. I will leave a timestamp so you can jump straight to the tutorial. Um, but if you do care what I want to say, then just stay here. <laughs> I'll be quick, I promise. I I just wanted to film this quick intro thingy because when I was filming my tutorial, I hadn't hit 1,000 subscribers yet. And when I hit that 1,000 subscribers, I felt that it was almost mandatory that I have to sit down and just thank you guys in person before, the, before I film my next video. I just wanted to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing to my channel. It's amazing that I have this community over here and I can share things with you guys and you share things with me and it's just so nice that you know you guys have decided to take the time from your busy lives or whatever you are doing to watch my videos and to leave me comments and say hi and leave nice compliments or really cool suggestions or ask me questions or whatever it is it's just it's just so so great to know that you guys care and i will try my best to keep you guys entertained <laughs> and film the videos that you guys want to see i just hope and i will try and do my best to be even better in the future and uh you know hopefully we will grow even more and who knows where the future will take us and i know that when you compare 1000 subscribers to 5 million subscribers, it seems like nothing, but to me, it is everything. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you all. I send you the best wishes, hugs, kisses, the whole lot. Anyway, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new on my channel, then welcome. So today's video is a makeup tutorial. It was actually requested um, on Instagram. Uh, I was requested to use the Shimmery Purple shade and the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, but since I don't have that, I figured it would be the perfect chance to try out this little guy. Um, this is the Pat McGrath. I am terrible at pronouncing anything French, so I'm just going to leave the name of the palette on the screen <laughs> and not butcher it because that would be, you know, not very nice. I recently got this palette and I hadn't played around with it. Um, I had swatched it a couple of times and I knew that the shades looked stunning just by the swatches, but I really wanted to see how they performed on the eyes and this palette has this stunning, breathtaking purple shade, shimmery purple in there and I thought, you know, this is this is perfect uh, because I wanted to test it out anyway and since, you know, you guys requested it, it's, it all worked out perfectly. So uh, yeah, the only sad thing is that this palette came slightly broken and uh, the, the golden shade in this one, which is also stunning, um, was kind of shattered all over the palette. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the situation. Overall, I am blown away because this shimmery purple is just, oh my god, I have no words. And um, okay, this palette does have only one matte shade and that is the deep purple that I used in my crease and in my outer corners. So I did have to dip into another palette um, to use the black that you can see in my outer corners. And then also I used a single shadow by Makeup Geek just to get a nice, very light transition color down in my crease and uh, yeah, but other than that, all the shadows that I used from this palette are so, so gorgeous and I love the way that they blended on the eyes and I think this look turned out so, so beautiful. I am super, super happy with this palette. I definitely want to try the other shimmery shades in there as well. I know there's a duochrome deeper purple, there's a duochrome lighter pink in there and there's like a fuchsia pink in there as well. So I definitely want to do something with those as well. And also, oh, uh, last thing before we get into the tutorial. I'm not sure, but I think that this palette is or was limited edition and also Pat McGrath is quite an expensive 
brand. So for instance, if you want to, if you don't have this and you don't have the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, you can always use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette if you have that one. I know that a lot of people have that palette. The purple shade in there is very similar to the purple in this one. Without blabbering on any longer, if you guys want to see how I created this shimmery purple and golden eye look, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off with my face already primed and prepped for makeup so if you want to see what products I used they will be listed in the description box as always so go check there if you are interested but I am first starting off with a single shadow by Makeup Geek and it is in the shade Peach Smoothie. It's just very sloppily putting down something warm and light in my crease to make the other shadows blend a bit easier on top. And once I had a transition color down, I went in the palette taking the shade Paranormal. And as you can see, I am kind of shocked. Uh, I dipped my brush in the palette as lightly as possible. It was the smallest dip in the world and the color payoff was really really impressive so I was I was just shocked that so much color came off um, but yeah I was basically just going back and forth in the crease building up the color building up the intensity and mostly focusing it on the outer corner as always once I had built up the intensity enough I went in with the NARS soft matte complete concealer and I'm just carving out the first half of my lid and then it was time to go in with the star of the show which is called purple rain and again this shadow was so incredibly pigmented i did not wet my brush i did not use fix plus or anything and the pigment was just there straight away i also applied some of the shadow with my finger as well just to see if that performed any differently and of course with a finger it does you know you get way more color payoff than with a brush it's just a bit more quick and a bit more easy but if you want to get those need precise edges you will have to use a brush and that's what I did um, so after I had covered the concealed areas with the shade purple rain I went back in the shade paranormal and I just started filling out the outer corners that I had left bare from before and I also started going back in the crease and kind of taking a bit more color in the inner corner of my eye as well and once I had all of that colored down I went back in with the initial crease brush and I just slightly buffered over the outer corners to make everything nice and blended and then I went in the Morphe 35N palette and I took the last shade in the palette which is just this super super deep dark matte black shade and I first started lining my lash line and once I had the line down I started kind of pulling the brush up a bit just to blend it out and smudge it a bit and I then went back with the shade Paranormal and I kind of went back and forth with these two brushes, adding the black and then adding the purple, adding the black and adding the purple and just making sure that they kind of fuse together nicely. That's pretty much the eye look done. So I applied some falsies off camera. I also used some mascara underneath, of course. Uh, and again, all the details will be listed in the description box. Next, I moved on to foundation and I was using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I just loved Love this foundation it's still one of my holy grails from the high-end side and uh, yeah I just I love it the coverage is perfect it looks so beautiful and radiant and glowy on my skin uh, so yeah it's definitely one of the favorites and uh, once I had bounced that on my whole face I used some concealer and I went in with the Tarte Shape Tape, of course, dabbing that very lightly underneath my eyes and then again blending it all in using the sponge. And once I had all of that blended in, I did my brows off camera again. Products will be listed in the description box. <laughs> I feel like I'm so repetitive. And by the time I had finished my brows, the concealer underneath my eyes was ready to be set. So I used the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder underneath my eyes as always, nothing has changed. And then it was time to finish up the lower lash line. And instead of doing the same thing that I had going on on my top lid, I wanted to do something different. So I took the shade Gold Nectar and I'm running that underneath my lower lash line. Um, and as you could see, I mean, I had barely anything left in the pan. So I was just scraping up something from the edges. Um, but 
I made it work and uh, I wanted to make it as intense as possible so I did wet at that shade and that just kind of gave it that extra kick. And then I'm just showing you the products that I was using uh, to finish up my lower lash line because my camera overheated and uh, it didn't record those parts. Again, the details will be in the description box. Okay, this is the last time I say that, I promise. Um, and next, uh, it was time to highlight and I am absolutely madly in love with this Milani highlighter. Guys, you have no idea. It is it is my new favorite. I have not been able to stop using it. I use it every single day. It just gives this beautiful, stunning, perfect glow to the face without looking chunky or without exaggerating any texture on the face. It, it looks so effortless and it just, it's beautiful. Uh, and of course, I had to go over it a bit with the elf brush because I wanted to tone it down a bit and uh, yeah as per normal the same bronzer well bronzers in plural because you guys already know what's coming so I first of course used the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade bronzer and once I had done all of the usual areas on my face with that I went in with the Givenchy Healthy Glow Powder in the shade number two and again going over all of my Face pretty much well you can see from the video as well what I'm doing I'm just I'm literally putting it all over my face and down my neck and, and everything because I want that golden glow everywhere and uh, just to make sure that there are no harsh edges anywhere I'm again going over all of the areas on my face with the small elf tapered brush or whatever that is and for lips I'm going in with a nude because of what's going on on the eyes <laughs> so uh, I'm using the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick in the shade mannequin and last but not the least I wanted to set everything in place and also give me some more of that glow on the skin so I'm using NYX's dewy finish setting spray and that is pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed the tutorial I love the look that came out and I am so so glad that you requested a shimmery purple because I hadn't done that and it's as I said beautiful so anyway thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye